on Wick sometimes, though. Cause... And I mean, it's a bunch of like gratuitous action and stupid shit, but it's just kind of a fun time. It feels good. Uh, this is the run! I don't really gonna watch movies. I remember when people could actually just go to each other's houses and watch I mean, yeah. But you wouldn't have done it anyway, right? Yes, I would have. I've been waiting. I can do that. We need to have like a network party or something. When I have it start comes out, let's Netflix party and watch the first season together. Yes. I've been talking about watching that show with you for months. Yes, and I'll put my bend in away. Oh yeah. But still. Also, I don't have my 4K monitor anymore, which is sad, but I think I can use my dad's monitor because... I mean, listen, I'm gonna be real with you, the first season of Avatar was made in like 480 that's the only way they really think it's fine. I don't care! I'm gonna <laughs> you can't... It on my phone, a 4K like monitor it. isn't gonna help you with that, it's just gonna look worse. <laughs> Trust me, I've tried. It looks god awful. It's just you can see every pixel. It's just sad. They're just chunks. But it's such a good show. So, you dare call Sulker a chunk? I mean, maybe in the like first episode. And I he wasn't looked, saying he was a chunk. I'm saying the animation looks chunky. You because said they're just chunks. Because the pixels are chunks. You don't call my boy Sokka a chunk. Listen, I love Sokka so Sokka much. Is... Because I relate to that boy. I don't know if I'm using this term right, but would he be considered a himbo? <laughs> no, because he's actually quite smart. A himbo is just a... Sokka, while he, he starts off as kind of a misogynistic, sexist, he has, stupid he piece has of shit. Art. And so does he, Zuko. Everyone exactly. Has character Everyone has a character. Zuko starts off as this fucking terrible piece of shit that everybody hates. And some people are like, man, why do you like Zuko? He's like just a shitty person who's always mean and whatnot. It's like, are you seriously going to be upset with a dude who was literally abused by his father, scarred, treated like shit, lost his mother, and then eventually found his way to the fucking light and discovered that, you know what, maybe my Nazi regime-ass nation isn't worth fighting for. Maybe my piece of shit deadbeat dad isn't worth being proud of. And he fucking trained the goddamn Avatar, and he fucking overcame all his obstacles, and became the new fucking Fire Lord, because he's a goddamn badass. Fuck you for thinking he's bad. Right? <laughs> Best character arc in anything ever. Dude's a legend. Alright? He dates a fucking sick-ass goth chick, so what else is there to love? Well, his first girlfriend turned into the moon. No, wait, fuck. That's, that's soccer. <laughs> his first girlfriend turned into the moon. And then Suki shows up, and she's a badass as well. And she's fucking awesome. And they're great together. And he's cool. He's just a, he's a sarcastic old boy. Although I also boy. find Zutara. My first ever. And also my last. <laughs> Zutara would have been interesting. But I can't do my boy Aang like that. He's loved her since he first saw her. Yeah. Aang is a... Old man, trapped yeah. in his body. He's 112 years old, whatever. He's a 12 year old boy and he's in love with a 14 year old girl. Alright, it's a little weird, it's a little strange, but you know what? I don't understand the love. It's okay, because they went through a lot together. They trusted each other, and they worked together, and everything went okay. I don't know. But Targetus always gets with them. Token ladies. I need like token ladies to get with the badass fire lord. Come on. Listen, I don't think Katara is ready to like shack up with some Fire Nation dudes. They killed her mom in front of her. I don't think she's okay with that. I think you that saw that episode with Katara and Zuko and that Yes. Piece. I'm I'm familiar with with the K's of bossing say, and he still ends up betraying them. And she gets really pissed off about that and doesn't trust Zuko for like tons of episodes afterwards. Yeah. He comes on the spirit that journey. Is sad. And they they end up making some amends. He teaches her that you know what, maybe revenge isn't the way. And she appreciates that. And Toph never went on her fucking life changing journey with Zuko, and she still still is owed that field trip. 
by a big buff man. It's true, she was very happy about that. Ember, Pro Ember Island players was the best clip. <laughs> did, you beat, did you beat the boy? Was that the run? That was the run. That was the run. I'm proud of you. Oh, thank 